Hi everyone, it's Michelle Barada from Bella Branch TV and welcome to another DIY day. Today we're gonna make these really cool paintings that we make out of old calendars. And you know how you can find, all, you always see cool calendars and you love the artwork on it and then after you buy it at the end of the year, you can't use it anymore? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to recycle and upcycle your calendar. Are you ready to get started? Well, let's go. What you'll need for this project is a canvas in any size that you want, a sponge brush, some paint brushes, some acrylic paint, and Mod Podge. And you'll also need a calendar. This is a smaller calendar. And I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna decide which images I like the best to put on my canvas. After I find the image that I like, I'm gonna trim around the edge. Next, I'm gonna take my canvas and I'm gonna paint the background so that it looks cohesive with my painting from the calendar. And you see how I'm blending multiple colors together and I'm using my graphic as a guide. You really can't mess it up anywhere. And then what I do is I take Mod Podge. I don't have to fill all the paint color in in the center because it's going to be covered by the image. Then I'm going to put Mod Podge down and then put the image on top of the Mod Podge. Then I just add some little decorative dots on there because I thought that would look cool. Here's my other design that I decided to use. Now this one I'm going to do a little bit more intricate of a painting design on this after I put the paint color on the background. So this is kind of a lavender and a pale pink and a white and I kind of mix those colors together and then I cover the entire canvas except I leave part of the middle uncovered because Mod Podge will be covered on that section. Now I take my Mod Podge and I put it in a big enough rectangle area so that it will uh, cover the area where my graphics is going to sit. Now if you see on the graphic, there's kind of like some blossoms on a branch. So what I decided to do is I'm going to mimic that and make it a little more stylish on the canvas. So I've taken kind of a gray tone of an acrylic paint and added some white so that it makes it look more natural and a little bit more interesting. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some pale pink and a little hotter pink and some white and I'm going to make little blossoms. And what I did on a lot of them was I put the darker pink first and then I put some white over top so it makes it have a little more dimensional look. It's super easy and you can't mess this up. And now I'm going to do it to the other side. After I finished painting the blossoms, I added a little spot of color. I took some yellow and I put it in the center of each blossom. Next, I took a tiny little brush and some gray tone paint and I made little stamens, just tiny little stamens at the top and then I put a tiny little dot on each end of the stamen. After I finished painting, I let it dry for about an hour and I'm going to now cover it with Mod Podge. And don't be afraid because you can't see your painting when you're covering, it's a little scary, but I promise it'll dry clear. And this is what it looks like when it's done. I hope you guys love today's DIY as much as I did. I think it turned out so beautiful and it looks so good in my bedroom on that one wall. And I, I think it just turned out fabulous. And I think it's an easy project and anybody can do this. All you need is paint 
and a beautiful graphic calendar and you are all set. So thanks for watching you guys. I hope you love today's DIY. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe. Click that button that you see above me and uh, make sure that you don't miss another DIY. And then also, I'm sure you wanna learn some more cool things. So you're gonna see that video that's popping up right next to me. And so click on it and you're off to another DIY adventure. Until next time, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome, awesome day. Oh, and don't forget to comment. I love comments. Bye.